Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Toy Tinker Simulator. Toy Tinker Simulator was developed by Torquoise Revival Games. It was published by Grab the Games and Whisper Games and it was released onto the PC on November 20th, 2021 with the MSRP of $12.99. Alright, why don't we get into it? This is a toy repair sim. Uh, there's music here, but I turned it off. And here's... why? a little bit on the soft side but uh it's not bad at all all right it's not bad music it's just always on and it repeats and i it drives me crazy it's just a personal preference thing there is a lot of music and there's controls for it but i just prefer to play in, play in silence for me when i play games i just want audio to give me information so all right, let's play. I'm not going to start a new save file because for this game, you don't really need to. Um, okay, so you go to the laptop and here you'll look at projects. So at first you can only do beginners and then when you level up enough, you can go to apprentice. Uh, so I'll do some beginner projects. What you do is you go into the required Equipment and cleaning list, and then you thumbnail it, thumbtack it, thumbnail, thumbnail. Is it called thumbnail? No, thumbtack, right? Sorry, I am still not completely a hundred percent there. Then you go into the market, and then you buy the stuff that you need. So we're gonna need a sponge, and we're gonna need some detergent, and then we're gonna need some. Equipment, we need the filing machine. Oh, I don't have enough money. Hmm, okay. Let's see if it can. That one requires the filing machine too. Okay, these we have all the equipment for, so we'll accept it and earn money until we can buy a filing machine. Alright, so here you have the toy, and then you just click on it. And then you just click on all the pieces. Some of them you just, you know, just drag it out. And then it, it gets disassembled. And then some of them you have to use tools. Okay. Yeah, just, just pull it. Um, so I like this game. It's very... Calming, zen-like. You click on the clean, and then you click on all the parts. Click on all of them, otherwise you can't continue. Alright, and then we're just gonna go... Did I... Did I do everything? Okay. Right-click to get out. The interface is a little clunky. Okay, and then you just scrub it clean. And... Yeah, I have some minor complaints Okay About the design of this game because I think it could be a lot better Okay Go to the ultrasonic cleaner Okay, send it to the workbench uh, yeah, printer. Just drag it on here. It does it automatically. Okay, now you gotta send it to the table. And when that is done, you go assemble it now. Alright. It does it before and after. Okay. You go to your laptop, go to projects, go to active project, and then deliver. And then you get money and XP. Uh, we have enough money to buy this, so let's 
let's do this one because you have the tools. We need 1900 to buy the filing machine. And once you thumbtack it, it saves the equipment here. And then you can go in and buy the stuff that you need. We need green, we need orange, and we need varnish. And then as I play this one, I'll go over uh, why I think it could be better. It's a minor nitpicking. So for starters, um, there's really no hands-on approach to it. You're just literally on rails for this entire game. Uh, I wish you could have more control over it. Like I wish I could handle the toy myself and then actually have something that simulates me pulling it apart as opposed to just, you know, clicking on this and then just doing this. Um, it, it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. A everything is like this. So once I just drag a tool on here, I don't even get to like pull a tool out or anything. Uh, again, minor nitpicking here. I think most people are gonna be happy with the game. I just, I just want more control over it. Okay, so that's not done yet. So we gotta take this apart. Okay. All right. So the thing is, like, again, it's very on rails because if I don't do that part where I send it to the cleaning table, I can't go and actually clean it. Whereas if it was simulating me in an actual like toy shop, I can take each individual part, bring it over to the sink, clean it myself and bring it back. Um, instead, it's just like this, you know? And there's like minor polishing issues too, where for example, the hitbox of this is pretty, it doesn't match the item. As you can see, I'm not scrubbing anything here. <laughs> also, if you listen to the background, the scrubbing noise is always on, even when you're not scrubbing. You can you can hear that it's it's in their back in the background. So again, I wish it was more realistic. Um, it kind of breaks the immersion for me. Obviously, you can't really change the game too much, but a couple things they could probably do is make the hitbox of the cleaning a little bit closer to the actual size of the item. Um, you can not have the sound play where you're not scrubbing. <laughs> you know? Here. It just, it just keeps going. And I, I can just scrub it on one ear. It doesn't even matter. Again, it's it's minor nitpicking. Based on personal preference, most people would be okay with this. But me, I'm just like, I wish it could have been a little bit better. Now, I, I, now the ideal game would be a more hands-on thing where I can, again, like I can actually walk around instead of just mouse around and then click on areas. Kind of make it a more immersive sim experience. But that would fundamentally change the, the design of the game. Like it would require a different game to be made basically. So I'm, I'm being realistic in my expectations. There's really not much you can change for this game other than maybe adjust the hitboxes of the cleaning, stuff like that. Make the sound stop playing when you're not actually doing the action. Okay. Also, like uh, some polish stuff where the camera movement feels very janky. Uh, once it hits the cursor, hits the end of the screen, it stops moving. Whereas it keeps moving if I go to the other edge because I have two screens. Um, you know, you could just make the camera rotate forever. It would feel more natural, but again, just minor complaints. Yeah. It is still satisfying though, when you finish it, I just wish 
you could have a more hands-on approach to it, you know, that's all. Okay. Slowly building up that money. Can we do a intermediate project? 3D printer? I don't think we have the money for this. Um, we can do this one. Alright. Oh, pink, pink spray. Um, what did I buy? Whatever. Okay. Again, it just feels, just feels too on rails, you know? Also, why are like these tools one-time use? It's kind of dumb. Cause like, you know, like a screwdriver is gonna last me pretty close to my lifetime, but these tools are only one to one. <laughs> Can be used like a few times and they break and I'm like, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> I get it though, it's video game logic. Okay. See, I love- I actually love doing this. I do this in real life because I uh, have been going through my stuff and I've been selling anything that has value to make money right now. Um, I, I don't make money doing content creation but I work on it more than a full-time job and I'm getting to the point where like I, I can't do this anymore. I need money. So I'm looking for a part-time job. But for now, I've been selling my... All my possessions. <laughs> it's all gone now. Most of it's gone. I recently sold my Power Ranger toys. Man, I I love those toys. I'm not gonna play with it now, but um, they went for a, they sold for a decent amount. Um, it's enough to get me through the past month's bills, and then. This month's, uh, some of this month's of what I spent. But yeah, it doesn't feel good when you're working and then, like, you don't get paid for it. You know? <laughs> it's the absolute worst feeling in the world. Okay. I've been looking at, at jobs, um, I mean the only ones you can really get in my area where you don't, you can get it right away is Amazon basically. Working in the warehouse, they'll, they're always hiring. It sucks though, but uh, you know, money's money, right? We'll see though. But yeah, I, I basically have nothing left now. Like, <laughs> I've sold most of everything I own. Um, I got a few things left. I got a lot of junk that I can't sell, so I'm trying to give that away or recycle, throw out all the trash. Um, but yeah. My cursor went off the screen here. Let's see, acquired equipment, that is a lot, that's not going to happen. It's also not going to happen. Okay, wrench size one. Yeah, this is a pretty 
pretty chill, relaxing game. Oh, I need tools. I think most people are probably gonna enjoy it. For me though, I would like a more hands-on approach. More more freedom, more free form as well. Uh but definitely increase the level of immersion for me, but Probably making the game on a budget. Yeah, stuff like, why couldn't I just put that on the painting table immediately as opposed to uh, putting it on the workbench? Alright. But yeah, this is uh, what I did, you know? I took my toys, I cleaned it. I mean, I used dishwashing detergent and a toothbrush and I scrubbed it pretty clean um, I wish I had more knowledge of like fixing it um, there's some broken parts but I just listed it as broken oh I love doing stuff like this this repairing stuff When I was a kid, I would take apart my toys and then reassemble them. Always had an innate curiosity as to how stuff worked and how it was made. Okay. Alright. Let's see, uh, do we have enough money to buy? I think we do. If not, we're gonna be screwed. Can you ever reach a fail state where you can't do anything because you have no money? I wonder. I wonder. Can I? Can I do that? <laughs> Surely the game won't let you get to that state, right? We'll see though. Okay. What the? That looks like it's torture. Oh, it's filling machine, not filing machine. I thought it said filing machine. So I was curious as to what it was doing. It looks like it was going to be tortured up the butt, but it's not what happened. Okay, I can't read. Let me tell you fellas though, I am almost done with my game's coverage queue and I am... Oh man, I, I, I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. We'll call it quits soon. I mean, this is pretty much the game. Um, you know, you're not going to be doing anything much different. There are museums though, and museum toys. We got the toy museum here. You can go to the museum. Again, you can't move around. It's just point and click. But, you know, you got your toys here. You gotta fix museum toys though. I don't know if that's like the last part or not. Take a look. You got your gallery here, you got your inventory, you got your master collection. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like a brainless, relaxing time once again. Uh, it could have been a lot better. Okay, another project successfully completed. Can I do like multiple projects at the same time? I wonder. Let's figure that out right now. Okay. Sponge and soup. Oh, you can't. Well, you know, I tried. Oh, where am I? All right. Yeah, see, this is not cutting it for me. <laughs> Everything is just on rails, you know? Like this especially, this is like kind of, kind of depressing for me. How janky it is. Look. I'm not even scrubbing it. The hitbox is the same no matter how big the item is or small. Okay. Oh, sticker. Uh, yes. Like I, I want to like cut the sticker out. I want to apply it myself. I want more freedom. Okay. Why don't we call it there? That's pretty much the game. I think that should give you guys an idea what the game is like. Once again, the game is Toy Tinker Simulator, developed by Torquoise Revival Games. Grab the Games and Whisper Games published it. It's out now, and the MSRP is $12.99. I forgot to mention, as always, the exact release date, pricing, and platforms may vary from region to region and platform to platform. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And I'll catch you guys next time. Boy, do I need a vacation. <laughs> okay, see you guys later.